today we're gonna show you guys the Wonder Lodge van that Fred Bellows made right here. Here it goes. Okay. All right, so this is it. This is a 2015 cargo van. And um, we took several years to build it out. Now it's done and we're starting to travel around the country. And um, we packed so many features into it that uh, I thought a short video would be good to explain everything. So, um, it's the uh, extended van, the 170 wheelbase. That's the uh, little extended, extra foot and a half. They call it the EXT. So it's 24 feet long. And um, of course it's the tall roof and it's the uh, 2500 two wheel drive. And um, you'll see it's a little bit taller <laughs> had a um, suspension lift done at Agile um, off-road here in San Diego where our daughter lives and we're visiting and uh, we weren't going to necessarily do that initially but we um, built it up so much uh, weight capacity wise we we almost exceeded the the total weight and so we thought that would be a good idea and sure enough it, it's a great ride it really helped the, the ride of the, of the van um, but everything else, except for this tailpipe, uh, I did myself. I had this uh, tailpipe moved um, <laughs> so that it sticks out the side of the van. Okay. And so, um, yeah, it's a home built. Home built unit, so let's take a look. So this is the idea we had, which is um, dinette bed combo up front. Okay. So, um, so yeah, so this um, is our idea. We wanted side-by-side uh, -side seating out the big window door and uh, a large dinette table. And that was our main goal, more than anything. Uh, so that was design one. And so then we realized that this should be a dual purpose area of a bed and a dinette both. So this flips down, uh, we can take out this stick, this becomes um, the bed. So these cushions come down, they flip over like this, and they go one, two, three, and then this becomes our bed. And the reason that it's long enough is, first of all, we're not tall. Um, I'm 5'9", and my wife is a little shorter. And um, we sleep sideways, lengthwise, and we have uh, cut into the wall, and we've even cut a little foot box on my side of the bed into the door. And so we have 75 inches of sleeping. So it works out beautifully. Now if you come in, you'll see what the huge benefit of that is, which is a huge galley, 10 foot long galley, and a huge wardrobe, four foot wide, six foot tall, two feet deep uh, wardrobe, and a full size bath. And in the back, another foot and a half deep garage six foot tall six foot wide uh, for recreational gear that's only accessible from the rear doors oh and one other thing about the bed we don't fold our bedding we roll it up <clears throat> and this cabinet was built without a center support for that reason so we roll we roll it up and we can convert from bed to table or table to bed in just under 30 seconds wow another thing about this dinette area being up front is that we have these two 14 by 41 inch sites windows uh, dual pane windows that are right here and we can um, tilt them all the way out and get a full breeze uh, and a view and everything uh, right here so yeah um, and you've got a big bug screen right this yes it's and like then a that full is a, a sliding screen that comes all the way over in this track and um, for buggy buggy areas when we travel to buggy areas so um, and then um, the other thing that's going on up here is a home theater system with a pull down screen and a projector that's inside here and so we um, have uh, you know 5.1 surround and there's um, subwoofers in each of these two um, end tables wow and uh, that's an end table yeah also come around here and look at this end table <clears throat> okay. 
Another thing about these end tables is that they each, oh, if you put the camera right here. What? You can put the camera on the face of my phone right here. On the face? Yeah, hold it down close. Oh. So you can see that um, these are uh, oh, chargeable. Built, built in uh, wireless charging cool. um, up underneath there. So anyway, so then. Um, What's this? That's part of the bed mechanism. Oh, I see. That's a little insert that uh, bridges the gap. When the, when the table's down, we stick that in there and uh, all within that 30 seconds. So we do that. Mm-hmm. Okay. This is the control panel. Mm-hmm. Right here, so every uh, every one of these um, uh, light uh, has its own dimmer, and um, and then this entire panel uh, opens out. There's a little work light here, and you can see on the back side. If I get rid of this back glare, um, you can see that it's all serviceable here, mm -hmm. and uh, never-ending project. Um, and then this, uh, if you look closely, you can see this panel here with the 24 12 volt circuits has um, accessibility to serviceability from behind. Uh, so you can get wow. to everything. Okay. Very cool. All right. So moving on to the galley, we have induction stove, we have full size um, sink, and we have a uh, cutting board. And um, we also have uh, touch, Very nice. uh, this is a touch faucet because, um, you know, when you're trying to conserve water, you know, that's important. And you can uh, split these up and make more usable space. Uh, control panel here for things like the refrigerator compressors. And um, the refrigerator we made out of um, plexiglass drawers. So there's three drawers that are the refrigerator and then a fourth uh, bottom drawer here, which is the freezer and um, the compressors. Uh, there's two separate uh, remote compressors underneath the van for that. Microwave, toaster oven, air popper, a little more storage and over here a um, pantry, a big, a big pantry. Yeah, oh, I can't turn it. <laughs> and a flip down uh, little seat, little jump seat, so you can, um, you know, put your shoes on, or whatever. And <clears throat> then the bathroom. Uh, this door uh, has a little latch here. It'll latch at the 90 degree mark, and that gives you an expanded dressing room back here. Um, and so this is the, the bathroom, wet bath, and... Um, it is um, unique in that uh, <clears throat> it has um, tons and tons of storage, unlike a lot of these um, wow. mini campers. This has uh, 13 of these 12-inch um, by 8-inch cubbies, uh, tubbies that um, hold stuff. And then over here is a dry box that holds our... Uh, with an integrated towel rack here so that holds our our towel so that after you take a shower you have a dry towel to use mm -hmm. and, and then some, over some here, towel holders up here uh there's a lot of hooks and uh, uh towel racks and things on both sides there's some and more hooks like this. speakers speakers and then <laughs> go in there and show this this is a regular little medicine cabinet um with some integrated lighting so Lots of lighting, lots of um, controls, uh, dimmerable. This is to control the shower to the perfect... Yeah, so the thing we did here is this is a um, variable, um, settable, uh, thermostat-driven um, temperature gauge. So you set this to the temp you want the water to be, and then you turn it on to confirm that it's the temp you want, and then you turn this off, and then you turn on this shower, and, of course... Uh, you you can't get out from under it, so you want it to be the right temperature from the start. Right. And you want it to maintain the temperature. So what this does is it, it constantly maintains the temperature. So if you run out of hot water, we have a diesel-fired uh, Webasto Dual Six, um, Dual Dual Top Evo Six, they call it, and it's it's a combo space heater and water heater, and it only holds 2.6 gallons. And so if you run out of hot water, it'll just turn off instead of. 
Mm. Blasting it with ice cold water. That's nice. Yeah. And you've got some sprinklers all over the wall here. Just spraying yeah, so in these are misters. The and what that's about is taking a long, hot, steamy, hot shower without using much water at all. So those mm. are like like misters, like you'd see at a, a patio dining And the floor, southwest. you can't tell, but the floor is like curved so that the water all drains to the right. Right, it's tapered to the right degree. Where does the water drain? There it is. Kind of, uh, yeah, sculpted or whatever. Yep. So, um, and then you'll notice here, this thing, uh, you may be wondering why this is cut out. It's because if you've left these doors open, you know, it still clears. Oh, nice. And so then uh, you could always open the bathroom door, whether this is left open or not. Mm. And um, then uh, there's also uh, lights inside here in the upper cabinets. Uh, on a separate circuit, and um, uh, there's a Wi-Fi <laughs> repeater here. Um, there's a on the on the roof. There's a motorized seven-foot antenna that goes up, and um, it'll it'll draw <clears throat> the Wi-Fi from if you're in the back of the campground, and the only Wi-Fi they have is way up in front on the office. Mm. Um, it repeats and um, rebroadcasts out inside inside the steel chassis. Mm -hmm. um, <clears throat> So, and then um, this TV is in addition to the home theater, and this one we can use in the daytime when we don't have full darkness light control on the windows. And we can watch TV here for cooking, or there's also um, a DVR underneath there, and there's four cameras on the roof, and they point in the four different directions, and so you can see those on here four up at a time or two or or, or just one big picture like a, like a window security cameras but we don't want too many windows because windows are thermal breaches we have spray foam everywhere and um super insulation r225 um on average uh, the three inch average and this carpet. Uh, thickness of the it's carpet everywhere oh yeah and on carpet, the ceiling and I'll, i'm glad you mentioned that i'll show you that in a minute so these are tambour doors and what these do is they um, don't stick out, you know, like if they stick out, you know, a closet is one thing you want to kind of leave open for a while while you're getting stuff out. And <clears throat> so we wanted the tambour doors for that. And that works out pretty good. And there's cedar, cedar planks back there. So it's cedar lined for to reduce smell. So we went with carpet instead of hardwood. And the reason is, is because when you're camping, you always drag in a lot of dirt and rocks and things. And so you have to constantly, constantly sweep like every couple hours all day mm. um, in order to not have dirt when you walk around at night barefoot to mm -hmm. the bathroom and get back in bed and get dirt in your sheets and stuff. So mm. carpet, you know, grabs that dirt and holds it in and keeps it off of your feet, right? Mm -hmm. Which we love and it's nice and cozy and warm, but you have to vacuum it. So, uh, so when you look at regular little camper vacuums, um, whether they're uh, 110 volt or 12 volt or anything, they aren't well, strong enough um, to suck up uh, fully, mm -hmm. adequately, you know, uh, all the carpet out. So we um, we use a uh, <coughs> full size vacuum that's in this cubby right here, and so the. The idea here is to have a big corded five amp um, uh, home uh, style um, vacuum, right, with a cord and everything, and it's got a strong beater bar, and it's always plugged in, and it's ready to go, and um, it can uh, really, it really sucks, which is a good thing in vacuums. Mm -hmm. So that's the. A little hidden door there. Cool. Can There's you show other the hidden doors like this one where we keep oh. um, some things in here, like long stuff, like these reflectix things, which can go on the front windshields. And um, can you show the garbage and some other hidden things. This is a garbage can, so you can scrape, uh, cut veggies into it, and um, it's a full-size 13-gallon. You know, can liner that goes on here, um, easy to change out, and <coughs> um, no, no magic hardware. It's just, uh, you know, just geometry. Um, what about all the other so, drawers in the kitchen? 
All these drawers are soft close, um, you know, bloom uh, motion um, drawers. And um, it's a little silverware divider, all made out of walnut. Everything, all the trim in here is all walnut. And it's all custom wood, and it's kind of like a yacht as far as, um, you know, durability. All of the hinges are piano hinges like these, instead of basic, cheap, um, uh, you know, just two hinges like in a home because uh, vibration and that kind of thing. So hmm. then in here is the electrical system. On the roof, we have 850 watts of power tiltable solar. It's not doing great with the blue. Yeah, and then this is the um, the batteries, the inverters, solar charge controller, short charge controller, um, and all that stuff. So uh, you can actually see it better with the regular ceiling lights on because the foo foo lights make it hard to see the detail. But mm -hmm. if you turn those off, and you can see down in there, there's two stacks of um, 304 amp. Um, cells in there so um, very cool what are we forgetting that's about it yeah I could show this side this is just yeah where you drive there's um, a rear view camera high res monitor it's all been like cut into uh, the thing CD, <coughs> phone scanners, holders right Verizon there. Wi-Fi um, in dash is a pioneer with a Review camera for backing up. Custom cu cup holder, right? Custom cup holder, yep. It's made out of plastic. Then, <laughs> so cool. And then uh, these custom um, phone holders. And then over here, a 4G um, repeater and a, um, a you know map light. What's this, a back cushion? And this is a custom pillow that matches custom pillow. our uh, trim. And... Um, very nice. <clears throat> yeah. And blackout curtains. Yes, blackout curtains here. And then this is um, regular pop-in shades. But then we also put those Reflectix mm -hmm. pieces oh. on, on all the windows. Wait, we here. forgot the back. Oh, yeah. And then there's the garage. Our idea here was a bicycle on each door instead of um, a hitch. And that way you can always open the doors immediately, leave one door, you know, leave the bikes on the doors as you open them. And, um, and that way uh, you can instantly get stuff out of the bag. Like if you pull over to the side of the road while you're traveling, and you want to have a picnic and you want to just grab the table, you just grab it and you just set it up and, and uh, you know, <clears throat> grab the chairs, either these or these car table chairs and um, a place for everything and everything in its place. Everything snaps in and fits, all the bike accessories, the helmets, uh, another helmet fits here and another bike fits here, obviously. And, um, Things like uh, stools and stuff, like this, have their own place to be. Uh, the short one actually shares a cubby with a bike bag. The bike, bike batteries. batteries. Uh, the bike batteries fit here so for charging, so we take them off, you know, lighten the load on the bike rack. This is a workbench. The barbecue. With this is the, uh, yeah, this is a workbench. It's got light here and power uh, outlets here, 12 volt and 110 volt. This is our uh, propane fire pit. Ooh, there's so, rocks in it. Hmm? Cool. There's rocks in yeah, it. Yeah, it's low profile, lightweight, and um, it's 150,000 uh, BTU. That's amazing. And so um, we use uh, regular, um, so we don't have any plumbed propane. Uh, the van is all just electric, and the only propane we have is regular uh, one pound bottles. And there's a little holder for all of them. You can keep six, six at a time on board here. And then this is the shore power cord. So here's the way to make a shore power cord, in my opinion. 
So instead of a plug on the outside of the van, you'll notice there's nothing on the side of our van. It's just completely blank. It's clean. There's no plugs, no, no plugs. outlets, no vents, no fans, no, no uh, water outlets or drains or anything like that. Mm -hmm. Everything is clean underneath. And for example, the shore power, what you do is you hardwire the cord. This is a 35 foot cord. You hardwire it in and then you just drop it out, um, you know, you can drop it down, wire it up. Uh, whatever length you need, you can leave some in there, and then you shut the door on it at, at the at that at that spot right there where where I hammered the uh, the gasket a little bit to let the cord go through there, so it doesn't pinch it. Oh, I see. Very cool. And that way, no one can steal your cord, and those connectors on the side of the rig they wear out. There's like ten more connections there that you don't need. You want to eliminate connections and connectors, you know, electrical things that'll wear out. Um, yeah. Yeah. Makes sense. And so, this is a little, uh, just another little table. This is a little, little laptop table. If you want to sit out here in the back when the weather's nice. And um, how did you make these things? Is this just like custom welding? Yeah. So these were welded up. And all these angles. Like a bike. So the bike goes Thing. in here. It's there's a uh, <clears throat> a winch in here. So you push the button and it comes down. You hook the bike up, pulls it up, and then you settle the bike back down and lock this on the down tube and the rear wheel here. So there's three points where uh, the distribution of weight is on three, mm -hmm. three different. Um, yeah. See it there. One. I don't know, two? So. Somewhere. And that's it. And three. Very cool. The Wonder Lodge. Wonderlodge.com. More details at wonderlodge.com. <laughs> Thanks for watching.